yeah, hey, Shrimp Chew, another Sims build. You, you can see the title, this is a family home, uh, assuming I kept the name. But right now it's just called Cozy Family Home, and I'm kind of like, I'm sure I can think of a better name, but hey. Now, this is kind of inspired, because I went to Ikea, like, a week ago. And I was like, oh, how I'm going to build things like these rooms, because you know how Ikea has wonderful, wonderful, like, full room setup displays. Now, most of it's not inspired by Ikea, although I'm waiting. Some house is going to get a living room inspired by Ikea, hopefully, if I build it before I forget. This time, um, it's basically the kitchen and that little room to the left of the kitchen. So basically the, that, those two rooms at the back there, that's the kitchen and a little like laundry room pantry thing. Because I noticed Ikea has a bunch of rooms that are like a kitchen and then they lead into a little laundry or pantry room, depending on the display. And I was like, I want to do that in Sibs. I want to do that. Ah, so that's downstairs and then the rough layout of the kitchen is basically how an Ikea kitchen was laid out and I was like, I like this layout. I should do this. So I did it. And then the rest of the house is just kind of built around that and built basically for the Sims because I already have a family that are ready to move in. So this house is specifically built for, you know, a family, obviously, but it's the parents, twin kid girls and then a little taller boy so going full full you know typicalness of the, the kids rooms the boy likes dinosaurs so there's also dinosaurs and the, the girls rooms pretty pink for now we'll see we'll see how that goes when they get older but yeah, the kitchen the kitchen the, I, in ikea there was a, like a um i think it was technically on the bench like a display stand but the tv like across from that from a table i saw that and i was like I must do that in The Sims. My Sims could get more distracted while they eat. They can talk to each other and watch TV. And then there's the whole layout, the kitchen, as I said. Pretty Ikea. Just with the... I don't remember the placement of, like, the cooker or the fridge, but that sort of L-shapedness and then door. And then a couple other things. That, that was it. I'm really sad I can't get that to place on the... That cat thing to place on top of the microwave. I was like, I'm going to put this on top of the microwave. It's going to be wonderful because, you know... On freestanding microwaves, it's pretty typical. I don't know typical. Easy. It's certainly easy to set stuff on. And as far as my house is concerned, lots of things get set in the microwave. <laughs> it's a good it's a good uh, shelf as well. So I'm sad I can't do that in Sims. Now, maybe other items can actually sit on top of the microwave, but uh, that cat wasn't going to go there. And I was like, fine. Don't need you. So yeah, little tiny bathroom beside the stairs. For all your Sims needs. There's still only like, but yeah, it's only like a little toilet bathroom. There is a shower upstairs, so the whole family can fight over that shower. But at least if everyone's just at and they're all like, oh no, my bladder need. You know, there's a downstairs bathroom and the, the toddler doesn't have to crawl the way upstairs to go to the body, it's fine. And this front room's just a decently sized living room, which I really, really took a while to decide which sofa looked best. You can tell I'm going with a slight green theme. Um, I don't normally use that set, that, so I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm using things I don't always use. As long as we don't talk about those kitchen counters, because I always use those counters. But shh. And there's not, like, a lot going on in this room, it's just a simple little living room. Could uh, maybe expand a bit, but there's a fireplace or stuff, it's not, there's not that much, it's, it's got a bit more space than it maybe needs, but, you know, that's a house, right? <laughs> Could maybe pop in, pop in some bookcases and stuff as my sims, you know, earn money and go, yes, let's add more stuff to our houses. Oh, setting stuff on the top of that fireplace. I'm so excited I could set stuff on top of it and then I realized with my wall height, bit nearly anything just pokes the floor in the next next floor. As you, You'll see when I get up there and I go, oh, okay. So I had to, I had to uh, rearrange that and see what was smaller. I could have just probably downsized it, but you know, I... I didn't want to mess with the object sizes. They, they're perfect as they were. Now, I'm not sure if it's just the Sims deciding where they want to go is not the closest place, or if it's actually because of the way I use move objects on the kitchen table. Because I've noticed my Sims don't tend to sit in the two chairs closest to the wall. They can, because I tested this. They, they can. If you tell them to sit there, they'll go sit there. But I've noticed they, ten they tend to prefer to go to the living room. Occasionally, if the table's set, they'll sit in the two seats not against the wall. So, um, I think my sims are just rebels. And outside's just a simple little... There's a little seating area, there's a lot of wash line, and then there's the play area for the kids. It's just, it's just a nice little... Th and the gardening, but it's just a nice little family-friendly backyard. 
It's gonna be complete with white picket fence too. Cause this is The Sims, everything's ideal and wonderful. Yeah, I am quite happy with how this house turned out overall. Particularly the downstairs. Like, the upstairs is fine, it's nice, it's whatever. But I'm just like, I'm in love with the downstairs. <laughs> just cause the kitchen and the, the laundry bit. The living room's not too bad. I should really, I keep meaning to do this, like actually build off more house plans instead of being like, one room, yes, then go from there. So I, I will do that, hopefully do that. I don't know, cause I, I'm a horrible, like, I, I have to dedicate a full day to The Sims or I ain't doing it. I'm obsessed, I'm not obsessed, but like, the concept of like, starting to build and not finishing it in the same session doesn't exist to me. I'm like, no, I need a good like, two to four hours free, uh, basically, I'd, may as well be the whole day, cause I'm like, nah, I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta be free to build for as long as it takes. So I think there's only one house ever that I did not finish in the same section. Maybe not one ever. I can only think of one, and that's that. Did I call it like two one twelve angle lane or whatever? It's the really sort of pointy, weird corners house that was fun to build. That took me like was it four or six hours? I think it was like six hours total. I did not like a two hour chunk and a four hour chunk, and I was like, whew. So yeah, I should. I need to like learn to just not finish the house all in one go. I imagine it's probably easier when you're working off a plan because like you don't have to worry about forgetting what you were going to do. It's there on a plan. So yeah, you can see parents' room's pretty simple, you know. We yeah, need furniture and a little vanity because why not? Because I like putting vanities into bedrooms even though I haven't freaking used them half the time. But you know, maybe this time. As I said, the kid, the little toddler, likes dinosaurs. And I went with an orange theme. I was like, you get orange. And then the dinosaur theme, bad's orange. And I was like, this works so well. Because I was thinking orange before I looked at the bed. And I was like, yes. At least I think that's the way around it was. Hopefully I'm not a horrible liar and it wasn't the other way around. <laughs> but either way, dinosaurs and orange. And then I was almost going to use the same, like, stand, bed stand, bedside table thing in the little but as the taller room, but I was like, no, they should probably have slightly different furniture, and I was like, you know, I don't really use the pet's furniture as much, so I was like, yeah, let's go with that. And, you know, there's a nice desk in there for them to do their homework if they ever bother to walk that far upstairs. Not that they'd be likely to, but hey. Um. Cats. They just... I decided one of them, no spoilers, <clears throat> which one, is going to be obsessed with cats. Like, the family has a dog, eventually I'm hoping they'll get a cat. And that's going to make one of those twins very, very happy. Because you might, you might notice a cat theme in there. I'm still really sad that I can't, like... Well, actually, wasn't there a patch, like, a couple of days ago? Because I think I saw something about a patch. I haven't looked at it now when I'm recording this. I'm going to do this after. And maybe, maybe they're going to fix the, the thing where the kids don't play with the vet thing. Assuming that affects anyone other than me, I really don't know. Like, on the one hand, I hope it doesn't. But on the other hand, if it does, you know, it might actually get fixed. I'm like, I, it hasn't worked since pets. Which is sad, because, you know, I wanted my little sim kids to be like, Yeah, playing with the vet thing. Yeah, growing up to be a vet. Yeah, sure, it's a minor detail, but hey. I was excited for it. Oh yeah, I was having rugs. You gotta pick the perfect rugs, and it's like, yeah. So that one's a nice one, you know. That little one in the kitchen's a nice one. And I to stick them green in the living room. Picking the kids ones, it's like, um, I mean, this looks okay, but does it fit in the room okay? It's like, no, nah, no, it doesn't. But it kind of does. I think I'd stick a second one up in the girls' room, or do I not? I considered it, I think. <laughs> I know I, I, I did nearly do the unicorn. I nearly enlarged the unicorn rug, and I was like, no, this doesn't work right. <laughs> There's so many dinosaur y dinosaur -y, uh, kids' wallpapers. I want more dinosaur stuff. Can we just have like a dinosaur themed stuff pack? Dinosaur stuff for Sims of all ages. Please, please, can we? Maybe after Jungle Adventures, you know, you know have your Sims have a pet dinosaur? It could be like the dragon from uh, Sims 1 making magic. You know, buy the egg. Depending on how you care for the egg, depends on your dinosaur and. That, thus its behavior that would be oh can we can we have like a little mini mini teeny tiny pet dinosaurs please 
I didn't realize I wanted this until I went off in this tangent and now now I want it. Now I'm half thinking I could probably do something with that gap beside stairs, but let's be real, I'd probably just make the stairs a little bit wider. But you know, you could move the fireplace and shove a little, maybe a little bookcase down there or like a little tiny one space desk. There's options, there's plenty of options. This house can be redone, obviously. Any house can. In The Sims, it's super easy. And obviously as I actually play with them and their family grows up and stuff, yeah, remodeling. But like I said, I'm really happy with this house. I, If you enjoyed it, it's up in the gallery. Uh, my ID on there is Shrimp Chew. And thank you for watching if you got this far. And have a nice day.